Thanks, Kevin, and uh, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my name is Yama Kaklagi. I'm the business manager responsible for geosensors at Microline. And at the beginning, I would like to give you some introduction about uh, Microline, who we are, what we do, and then uh, talk about the relevance of the uh, what we do and uh, this uh, seminar today. Microline uh, is the largest independent MEMS foundry. And uh, we are <coughs> about 180 plus uh, people uh, located in uh, Edmonton. <laughs> and I believe that you've seen this uh, picture before today and uh, we are co-located uh, co with uh, ACAM in the same building. And uh, we are industrial leader and innovator. We have uh, more than 50 people um, with a bachelor, master, or a PhD degree that uh, we are trying to uh, provide solution to uh, some of the most difficult problems that industry is facing uh, in different uh, applications. We have a state of the art uh, MEMS facility, uh, about 55,000 square feet, a clean room facility, which is class 10, and people that are uh, familiar with uh, microfabric chain know that how expensive and how sophisticated is the facility for class 10. And uh, we have had expensive uh, growth. We uh, were established in 1982 as uh, part of the University of Alberta, a non-for-profit <coughs> organization, and in 1998 became a private company. And since then, we've had a continuous growth, organic growth, and based on the work that we do for our customers, we are not VC funded. We don't receive any financial assistance. It's mostly based on the work that we do for our customers. So we believe that if we add value to what customers are getting from us, then they, will, they have to pay for that, and that's how we grow. And uh, we've been integrated uh, production partner in the sense that uh, we try to uh, solve the problems that our customers are having, and also uh, try to provide uh, next generation products that would uh, keep them ahead of their competition. And with the work that we are doing for them. And since uh, we've been in, in, in this industry uh, for quite a long time, almost 30 years, we've learned as to how we should uh, make a device. We have it basically designed for manufacturing a mindset as to uh, the service that we provide uh, for our customers. We do development work and then uh, we transfer it to manufacturing and then we take it to Manufacturing for uh, high volume, obviously high volume, it's relative uh, term. I mean, for what you do in Alberta, high volume is what we do, but uh, compared to what uh, someone needs, for instance, in the, you know, the range of millions of parts per month, obviously we, we are not a high volume for them. They go to South Asia to do those activities. And the products that uh, we are developing at Microline are uh, basically divided to three or four different uh, areas. Uh, one is uh, optical devices, uh, which is basically the main activity at Microline, making optical devices for the largest uh, manufacturer of optical components. Sensors, uh, we make micro pumps, micro valves, and accelerometers uh, for the leaders of the uh, market. Also, we make uh, products uh, for drug and delivery and implantable uh, drugs and chips basically uh, that again uh, for some of the most sophisticated companies in this area. And also uh, we do uh, provide a uh, service and funding to uh, our customers for four inch or six inch uh, applications. So uh, the area that we are serving uh, is oil and gas basically one of them is one of the main ones that we are concentrating and uh, optical, life sciences, environment, aerospace, and military in all different uh, areas of the world, uh, from East Asia to US, uh, uh, Europe, and quite a few in Canada. What's the relevance of what we do to oil and gas? It's mostly basically oil and gas exploration. Uh, as you know, geophones have been in the market for uh, almost uh, 60 years now, since World War II. I mean, they were developed uh, to monitor movements of the tanks in the field. And now uh, oil and gas, uh, people are using it to, uh, uh, to see if there is any oil or gas in any specific area. So you need sensing element, geophones that have been in the market, uh, transmission, 
digital, analog, or optical, or RF, basically, cables, and uh, systems to uh, gather information and analyze them, and uh, vibration uh, systems to basically make the, uh, uh, all the shocks or waves in the, in the ground, and data analysis. What we do is to uh, work with our customers to make sensing elements, the sensors. It's basically a MEMS uh, a structure that we are making is our MEMS-based sensors that have been uh, in the market uh, for the past uh, five to 10 years. They are pretty new and uh, they are basically capacitive uh, uh, type of uh, sensors that uh, form a capacitance between the fixed electrodes and uh, moving electrodes and they sense the movement of the Earth, uh, sorry, and uh, they sense the reflections that are coming from the Earth um, based on the vibration that is created. We are working with, uh, we are a world class uh, local company with international focus, as I said. Uh, we have uh, quite a few customers at different areas of the industry, including oil and gas. We are working with the uh, world leaders in uh, oil and gas exploration. Uh, both uh, equipment manufacturing and also uh, system analysis. Um, we uh, are doing wafer fab test assembly, micro nano packaging, and are, we are using basically uh, ACAM as our partners for micro uh, packaging. We have access to NINT and NanoFab of uh, UAVA for development activities. And uh, we think that uh, we have all the elements if you need to make an inertial sensor. And here is a list of equipment. If you're familiar with uh, basically inertia sensors, you will see that we have the whole package available that how to make an accelerometer or gyroscope at Microline. That was the summary of Microline. Thanks for your attention.